Hey, what's up, guys? Drone Man here. Um, just wanted to get a uh, little update here on the Phantom 3. This is the uh, Phantom 2 Vision Plus I've got here. From what I'm seeing, and I got a close-up view of it earlier this morning of the Phantom 3, gim the gimbal on the Phantom 3, and I don't know why they did not upgrade this. Uh, this is the weak, weak link it has been in the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Um, the Phantom Vision had a different camera on it. That I had one of those too. Um, and the only problem with that, it wasn't a three-axis gimbal. I think they call it a two-axis where it just goes, moves up and down, being as this is a three-axis. But uh, on the Phantom 3, and like I said, I don't know why they did not upgrade this on the new Phantoms. I don't, I don't understand why. Uh, but as you guys know, the ribbon cable right here, the black ribbon cable, you see it go up and down and all that. Kind of a close-up view of it. But uh, on the Phantom 3, it's the exact same way. It's, it's not enclosed, which I thought they would do. Um, it's not different or anything they did I, mean, I, I don't know I don't understand why they didn't do it. It, it and it even looks like the Phantom 3 has the same gimbal on it just like this one uh, and also the another weak link is from what I've heard knock on wood I haven't had any trouble with mine I fly mine um, very carefully I do a checklist of everything on my drone before I, I take it out um, but th these here and here where my fingernail is this is no more than a very strong magnet that's all it is um, so if you take a a hard landing and from what I'm hearing it ain't got to be real hard at all you will knock these apart and from what I'm hearing there's no way of putting it back you have to buy a whole brand new camera and this camera is not cheap it is seven hundred dollars for this camera setup alone that's you know seven hundred bucks for this so uh, guys y'all you know please be careful I, when I land mine I get it arms reach and I'll grab it right here while it's still up in the air and then I turn it off um, I always do that I don't never land it simply because the way the landing gear too um, now I do think on the Phantom 3 I think the landing gear is wider apart and I think it comes out a little bit more um, than the Phantom 2 Vision Plus um, I think that's one of the upgrades they did because on these when you come in for a landing they always seem to tilt forward and then when they do then there goes your props you just busted two of them because usually when you hit that asphalt unless you're in grass uh, usually on that asphalt it will chip them or scar them up real bad I mean even if your props are just you know scratched real bad it will cause it to be out of balance and of course it'll make your you know your drone shaky up in the air and which will cause your your filming to be shaky but um, just that was a little update from what I'm seeing on the Phantom 3 the new drone that's coming out it's supposed to be out at the end of April this month or the middle of May um, from what I'm hearing it's supposed to be out in all your uh, I think well you know your hobby shops or which ones that are carrying them or B&H photo I have them uh, Asus deals dot biz uh, Peter up there in New York uh, he'll have them in um, and all that so but yeah this is the weak weak link that's been on these drones is your camera uh, not the camera itself but just the gimbal that's on these you know they're real delicate 
and I don't know why on this new Phantom 3, I don't know why they didn't uh, develop, you know, redesign this. Uh, I, I don't know, but um, I'm going to dig a little bit more into it and see, but I did see a close-up view of it. And yes, you do see this black ribbon cable, the same one it, it appears to be, that's in the Phantom 3. So, and it looks like also the same gimbal, like I said, it looks like identical. The only difference is, is it looks like a more, it's a bigger, uh, a bigger camera on it. And, uh, I guess for the 4K video that it shoots. So, um... Yeah, guys, you know, just y'all check into it, too. Um, I mean, they're not bad for the price. I mean, for the, I think it's called the Advanced Phantom 3. Uh, it shoots uh, 1080p, high def, just like this does. Uh, if you want the 4K model, it is called the Professional Phantom 3. And it shoots in 4K video and uh still photos so um there's two versions the advanced and the professional uh, and the uh advanced is i think 9.99 or a thousand dollars and the professional like i said in my other video i think it's 1400 either 13 or 1400 which still ain't bad um but uh in this new drone the solo that that's coming out um it's a good drone and from what i heard today uh even if you i think uh, if you buy it with the uh the gimbal you know the whole nine yards minus the camera of course because you have to use a gopro that's the only I wish they would have put their own camera on it, um, but they didn't. They, for some reason, I guess uh, 3D Robotics is maybe in with GoPro or something, and that's why they don't use their own cameras. So, um, but yeah, you have to buy the GoPro separately, or if you've got a GoPro, then you can use it on the Solo drone. Um, but from what I heard today, that the motors on the solo are plug and play and i wish these were that way i could put like scorpion motors or um something like that i was trying to think of some other motor brands but i can't think right now but uh scorpion the reason why i got that on my mind because that's all i used to use in my uh, little 450 helicopter electric i used to fly and also my, uh, it was a six, 600 or 650 T-Rex I used to have, or maybe it was a 550, I can't remember, but all my helicopters I use Scorpion, Scorpion motors, Scorpion electronic speed controllers. Um, I've never had a problem with them. Uh, Castle, I think that's the other one. I've used those, uh, but I did have a problem with, uh, with one of their speed controllers burning up. Uh, I guess it just wasn't getting enough air or the heat sink on it just wasn't big enough to pull, draw the heat off of it. And uh, I ended up crashing a helicopter because of that. But uh, anyway guys, that's that was the main thing I wanted to just bring out uh, and point out on the new Phantom 3. Uh, I got a close up view of it today. And it looks like the same gimbal that's on the uh, Phantom 2 Vision Plus, which is right here. Um, the only difference I see is a different camera. And it's, it looks like a bigger, more well-made camera. I mean, this is well-made, don't get me wrong. It's a damn good camera. Um, and uh, But... The Phantom 3, can't, the camera that's on it just looks bigger, I guess, because it shoots in 4K. <coughs> Excuse me, maybe that's why it just it just looks bigger for some reason. And uh, also, before I forget, excuse the mess on the table, 
but um, on one of my videos on my website um, and you can see my website address on my intro and the uh, end of my videos that'll be on it too uh, Simon uh, Newton um, I watched one of his videos and this uh, Electro 140 LPS uh, you can get these at your local HVAC shops um, or Lowe's should carry it and what you do is uh, well what I seen Simon doing is spraying it directly in here because this is um, it's safe for your electronics uh, it won't harm plastics uh, or anything like that but your little uh, pieces in here that connect to your battery they need to be cleaned I don't know it depends on how much you fly it I would recommend doing it once a month and that's what I started doing um, with mine is every once a month I'll clean uh, the contacts here and also on the battery I will clean uh, the contacts like the little right here or the two ends touch and also inside here I will clean out with the uh, with the contact cleaner and it's also safe for your motors so it wouldn't hurt to uh, and also from your local hobby shop uh, to like toys and hobby or any place that carries RC products RC cars airplanes helicopters they make a barren oil after you clean your motor with this contact cleaner I would go back in there and oil I don't know if you can see it or not but there's a barren in here that you need to go back and re-oil your barren you know on each motor there's a barren in the center right there it needs to be oiled uh, and even if you don't clean it or scared to clean it I would still like I said, depending on how much you fly it, but at least once a month, I would go in here and re-oil your bearings. Um, I don't have mine sitting out, but uh, it comes in a tube about, I don't know, about that big. Mine was Trinity. Uh, I've had that oil for a long time. That's what I used to oil all my Boca bearings with and my RC car and buggy I used to race. And because uh, I'd go in there and clean it with contact cleaner, you know, even the motor. And uh, Trinity was one of my sponsors, and they had shipped me a pretty good bit of oil. You know, I'd pass it out to my friends that I raced with and my competitors as well. I'd pass it out, you know, a free product, you know, to advertise for them. And, uh, but uh, really, it ain't got to be Trinity, it can be any oil. Uh, it comes in a tube about that long, and it's about, I don't know, probably about that big around, and it's got a little needle tip on it, probably about that long, and it looks just like a needle almost, but the end ain't sharp, and it's long enough to get in here to get this barren, and like I said, each one of them needs to be oiled at least once a month, so that way your motor you know will spin freely and uh and all that so um but yeah as far as maintenance that's what i use uh contact cleaner um you can get any brand you know whatever you want to get i had this left over when i was a heating and air tech for a company but um i've started using it about a month ago and like i said i cleaned my contacts with it and also clean my motors and like I said go back and oil your bearings to keep them you know nice and lubed up so they'll spin you know freely and and all that especially if you're at a beach somewhere and it tips over or it ain't necessarily got to tip over but when it spools up your props it may pick up some sand and get it in the motor here so you know it just would be a good idea to you know clean your motor out you know once a month because like I said spray it down in there and um, 
and it will it'll drain out and usually it evaporates pretty quick you know within I don't know 10 15 20 seconds or so sometimes a little bit longer depending on how much you spray in there but it will and that's not going to harm your plastic anything plastic rubber anything like that is not going to harm it all it's going to do is evaporate I don't even think it leaves a residue as far as I can see on mine but um I guess that's about it guys the main thing you know like I was pointing out was on that Phantom 3 and it just boggles my mind why DJI did not redo these you know I, I don't know uh, it looks just like this as you can see you know it's open so you know, anything can get to it you know it, it's just your landings I guess the your landings and just be responsible up in the air guys get away from trees power lines you know not unless you're comfortable of flying you know in an area that's got a bunch of trees uh, I'm pretty comfortable because I've been doing this 20 some odd years um, not drone flying but flying I mean, you know RC airplanes and helicopters and uh RC cars and stuff uh, drones I just took this up this year well la uh, the end of last year and end of this year so I haven't been into drones you know that much uh, hasn't been a long time so maybe seven months six months if that so um, but yeah that's what I wanted to show y'all guys I seen that and I just thought I would show it to my youtube subscribers and uh speaking of the subscribers guys if y'all know anybody just forward my link to them put it on facebook put it on uh twitter you know help get my my name out there um and you know i'll be doing more videos like this if i see something or hear of anything um i'll get on here as fast as i possibly can to get the word out um i've got a couple of other people that uh they know people on the inside of uh, dji and uh 3d robotics and all that so um usually i get the word from them and then i'll get it out on here so um anyway guys uh i guess that's about it for now and um hopefully we can get out uh i don't know i mean let's let's go out here and take a gander take a look yeah, it's partly cloudy right now but uh, there are storms to the south of us that are racing this way so and it guys it has been raining for the past week and a half two weeks now just rain 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 so uh it's partly cloudy right now but i just don't feel comfortable of i was gonna say i may get the drone out there go somewhere after a while and get some video footage for you guys but i don't feel comfortable of getting it out you know driving somewhere and then getting it out and then it start raining or you know if i, if I got it up 400 feet and you know around here sometimes you get it it may cloud up and not do anything and it may cloud up and i may get the drone 400 feet up in there and all of a sudden it come a downpour and then what have i got you know i've got a toasted drone <laughs> that's a paperweight so uh, i don't want to do that so but next week i think monday or tuesday it's supposed to clear off and uh we'll get it out there and i'm i'm trying to think of a good place to go um i don't know yet we'll see but anyway guys i guess that's it um little dog jack um go back in here i guess that's it for now guys um like I said, I just wanted to show you all that about the uh, ribbon and the gimbal on the new Phantom 3 that's coming out at the end of April or the uh, probably the second week in May or so. 
it will hit uh, store shelves and also the solo probably middle May or the end of May is when the solo from uh, 3D Robotics is supposed to come out so uh, guys I guess that'll be it and uh, like I said get my name out get my name out there and um, I would grow I would certainly appreciate it and like I said my website is at the uh, intro the first part of this video and also at the end uh, you'll see my website on a uh, cool uh, intro a good friend of mine did and uh, Carrie Woodward thank you again for that that is cool and uh, um, I love it um, anyway guys uh, I guess keep flying and keep these things upright and we will talk to y'all later see ya